This video, I'm going to be doing an analysis on my latest video. If you haven't seen it yet, then please do because there's a lot of spoilers in this video. All right, so I want to explain the rules for a bit. I already clarified this in a comment that I did on my YouTube channel, but basically the world has a border of a thousand by a thousand blocks, which means that I couldn't just like run 30,000 blocks so he can find me and the time would be up. Also, that wouldn't make for a good video. Also, we weren't allowed to go to the nether because there's not really any like point in me going to the nether apart from like running and hiding and let's be honest that would have made like a terrible video so so here i want to explain something you might have noticed that his name tag and my chat is like incredibly thick and like you know dark so basically i did this so that his name tag would be more visible i think i saw clown Pierce doing it and i like didn't know why but I, I i'm not sure if like he did it for the same reason that i did but for me i did it because i thought it would be a good way to you know see name tags through walls so if he like unshifts for even half a second there's just this thick like black uh lion that like just pops out and so yeah that's that's why my uh, that's why my name tags look like that so yeah didn't end up working but you know it was a good attempt all right so basically uh the seed was actually not rolled randomly so this is a server right so the server takes a lot more time to set up than just a regular minecraft world since we had like all these plugins all these you know everything so the difference is if i rolled a random seed in survival there would be a chance that i spawn in an island in the middle of nowhere but if i do that then i can just log out and make another one but the thing about servers is that yeah it takes at least for me it took like an hour to set the server up and it wasn't even good so Basically, the seed was pre-routed. I've already, I've already seen the seed before, but I, I didn't like, like look at it that much. I kind of just like made sure that there was like um, a structure at the beginning so that like we'd have stuff to use. But yeah, it might, it might not seem legit, but I kind of just did it because I thought it would make the video more entertaining or whatever. So like, I'm actually gonna start using Fulbright again because I can't actually see anything. Okay. I'm starting to feel like ghost room. Bro. All right, so this isn't really that important, but I thought I'd explain it here. So Superfy is being racist in this clip. <laughs> He's making a joke about how Asians have small eyes and they can't see anything or whatever. Um, I'm Asian. He's not. So, <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd clarify it. As I said, I knew that there was an abandoned village in the seed, but I didn't really, like, uh, look anywhere else. So, for the most part, the first, like, seven minutes, I wasn't even in a cave. Uh, I don't reach it until later. So I was kind of just like gearing up as I go. So if I found a cave, then I would like look around. Obviously, if I found animals, then I would look around. I was basically just going through the seed and see like um, if there was anything that I could use. I, I know that there was a forest like right over here. So yeah, I ended up going to the cave later on anyways. So what are you doing? Nothing. No, I, I'm not even joking. Like I'm barely doing anything. All right. So. I, I cut most of it out, but like in the like raw recording, Superfy was just talking about like a lot of nonsense. So, uh, I, I basically thought that he wasn't actually getting anything done, and he was just like mining iron, but like very lazily or whatever. So I, I didn't expect him to be as geared as he was, which you'll see later in the video. So, all right, so this cave that I got over here wasn't actually that good. It had the iron that I needed to make full iron armor, an iron pickaxe, and later an iron axe, but uh, I I wasn't given enough iron to like you know make like a bucket um so yeah basically i i kept debating like what i wanted to make with my iron so i made full armor here i made a pickaxe and then later on i smelt three iron and i uh, instead of making a bucket which i probably should have made i made an iron axe which wasn't the best play but that's the one i made so yeah i, I should just clarify 1.19 caves or what is it 1.17 or whatever the caves from the newer versions are bigger not necessarily better oh i need to do that all right so over here, I could tell the wreck was, like, somewhere within my vicinity, at least by, like, 100 blocks or 200 blocks. But, um, when he said, oh, I need to do that, I figured he was close by, but I didn't really think much of it at the time. So, yeah, I kind of just, like, put, I just, like, you know, put my guard up. Are you hunting me? What? So, he, uh, Vrek over here says, are you hunting me? I'm assuming that he wasn't, like, actively looking for me when, um, he found me. So, I, I, I assume that, like, he just saw me and was like oh okay well i can take this fight i think because i have more stuff than him where are you going Alvin, Bose. all right so here i was trying to remain calm about the situation but Vrek and i have actually done like duels on legacy before uh on this kit so it's like iron armor and um a bow i guess and iron tools uh because i have high ping it was kind of like difficult for Vrek to counter me with just pure melee combat so i was kind of forced to or so he was kind of forced to like be more reliant on his utilities like his lava or his um his bow so the bow was kind of like the main factor here like i, th I think in all of our practice rounds the bow is what pissed me off the most so 
All right, so I probably would have gone for him here if uh, uh for, if it weren't for two things. So the first thing, uh, he ends up using the bow on me a little later. But the second thing is that I see that his main food source is bread. So I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, he doesn't have a very good healing source. It's fine. I'll go for him later. And the bow ends up being like really annoying anyways. So I don't want to take this fight. It's fine. I'll get a better chance later. Come here. So here he gets me in the lava and uh, I try to hotkey to my 6th slot which is where I usually put my bucket but as previously mentioned I couldn't get my bucket uh, or I couldn't craft a bucket. So I opened chat here be, uh, on accident and kind of fat fingered it because my, uh, my inventory key is actually R and I accidentally pressed T which is chat so I opened chat here on accident instead of inventory because I was trying to go to my inventory to get a bucket but then I remembered I didn't get a bucket earlier so this is nothing. Okay. The lava that I'm used to, I, I played I played a lot of UHC in my time. I'd say it's probably like the most time I've spent on a game mode, maybe. Um I, I've I played a lot of uh like UHC, I I and low tier three in the game mode. I'm used to the lava damage, obviously, but I, I wasn't used to iron armor PvP. So when I saw like the impact of you know how much damage it was doing here, like I started on like seven hearts or something, and then I ended up all the way at two, so I, I didn't think it was going to be like that big of a deal to lava, but it was. So, iron armor, it's really not good, so. How long does lava last? You can see me here panicking because uh, I didn't have uh, water and, you know, lava apparently cuts down your health when you like barely have any armor, so. So in uh, loping axe PP, if you can double click someone's shield really fast, you can break their shield and like do a little knockback to them so they can't hit you back. The same thing doesn't apply when you're on hyping, so I couldn't like stun him and you know get a an advantage. So yeah. What? The second thing, I was willing to let him heal here, even though I figured he was probably like lower than me by maybe a heart or two. Um, Again, his main food source is bread. I have 10 steak left, and I'm pretty sure I have like more in my inventory. So, yeah, I, I was very much willing to drain. So, yeah. Leave me alone! Over here, I tried to go for the stun again, which probably wouldn't have worked even if I was on low ping because I was jumping when I did it, and you're supposed to not jump when you do a stun. So, yeah, uh, it didn't end up working, but I think over here I learned that, you know, when you're on high ping and you're playing early game Axe PvP, it is so much favorable to play defensively, so... Early game Axe PvP uh, favors the defender by a lot, in my opinion. I'm being kind of like conservative here, so I, I eat a mutton instead of the steak, which was kind of dumb. Uh, I did this because I didn't want to eat all my steak in one go since I was expecting the fight to go a little longer. This wasn't that necessary, I don't think, since I end up winning with like some steak left anyways. But also it's like, it probably would have been more, more worth it to have more, you know, saturation. So. <laughs> So over here, uh, I tried to play the defender, but I didn't end up getting a crit, it ended up being a weak one. He placed lava on me, and over here I'm thinking, okay, I don't have water. The only like way that I can destroy his health faster than the lava will is if I just randomly aggro him. So yeah, he was close to me, but also it's like I figured, okay, if I don't get him now, I'm uh, it's now or never. So if I don't get him now, then I'm probably dead. So that's why I just end up turning around and getting like all the crits that I need. I know that uh, on Iron Armor, you need three Axe crits to kill someone. So I figured I'm probably going to get three Axe crits before um, I burn to death with Lava. So, yeah. Well, what do I do now? I can just relax. I can chill out. I don't have to worry about any pesky PvPers coming after me and killing me. I have a bow now too. That's huge. All right, so over here, I was trying to, you know, um, I was trying to be cocky. I thought it would be good for the video or whatever. I was trying to provoke him or whatever. I could have been more efficient with my time. Like maybe I would have like, maybe I could have like cooked all my food or whatever. But I, I wasn't really thinking at the time. I thought it's a pretty clear victory for me, even though I'm only halfway done with my time. By the time I got the strat. Oh, there you are. Hi. Alright, so he talked about having a strat, and then over here I see him, like, with a wooden axe and nothing else, so I'm thinking, okay, that was mostly a joke, he probably doesn't have anything planned, I'm, I'm being cocky, so I threw him an extra iron axe. Here, wait, here you go. 
And so here I was being cocky, so I threw him an iron axe and an iron pickaxe, just to, you know, just because I was feeling like a bad person that day. <laughs> It's crazy how it almost works. <laughs> Alright, so I just need to explain this here. Uh, the damage output in iron armor and in uh, no armor is not actually very different. So for one, uh, it takes three stone axe crits to kill someone with um, uh, full iron armor, which is ridiculous, by the way. But it takes two crits to kill someone with no armor. So a wooden axe does seven attack damage, which is essentially the same as a diamond sword, but slower. And an axe, an iron axe, does 9 attack damage. So it is also just, you know, it is also a 3 shot, even with a wood axe. So, uh, Varek here, honestly, he has the advantage. Maybe I have a shield, but, like, I'm on high ping, so the shield doesn't really mean much. Unless I, like, you know, play, like, Dream or whatever. So, um, Varek has the advantage here because he can just keep going for crits whenever he wants, and he doesn't care about whether he dies. And Varek is a good Minecraft player, okay? It's not, it's, he's not, like, some random legacy kid. So... Uh, under normal circumstances, that uh, play probably wouldn't have worked. Let me, let me go back to it. So we were both on uh, high MS there. Uh, so if we were both on low MS, that shield stun would not have worked. Because you can't, like, uh, break someone's shield while you are falling and then, like, have them not hit you. So This is going to be ridiculous if you win. I end up getting a cheeky kill here with the lava, but then again, like, again, he has infinite lives, so it doesn't really matter. And also, you know, iron armor isn't so different from having no armor, so... Oh, you have- Oh, you have, you have an axe. Okay. I see him rushing me with another axe, as you can see. I, I thought he kind of just got, like, another uh, tree and then made a wood axe and came for me. Basically, the lava is my friend here, because I don't know how, but Varek just kept hitting, like, the most insane backstabs in 2023. You make, like, a thousand axes? So this right here is when I realized that, okay, so he made a bed, he has like probably 10 axes and his, uh, all right, so I explained this in a text, but I wanted to sneak up on him because I saw his name tag previously, but it didn't end up working, so that's why. Ultimately, Varek ends up getting the kill on me, I'll just show a clip of it on his screen, so. Yeah, we'll definitely do this again. I'll definitely have like better preparations next time, but until then, uh, I've lost. So, yeah.